about Storm Tracker 9 weather with Chief Meteorologist Justin Stapleton. Warm again out there today. Temperatures back up into the upper 80s as we expected. Tomorrow will likely be even warmer. A couple of things working with that. I'll get into those in just a second. But first, let's go outside. We've got the visual satellite behind me here showing uh, what looks like just a little band of cloud cover. You see this and you say, ah, right, you know, what's, what's up with that? No big deal. Well, that's actually the first uh, of a couple of different waves that are all going to start coming off of an area of low pressure that's sitting off of the Bay Area coastline there south of San Francisco. Again, the visual satellite by tomorrow, we should be Able to pick that up pretty quickly, but seeing it is uh, flaring up some good thunderstorms across the northern end of the Cascades outside of Reno, and then we've got a little bit of light precipitation. Most of it's probably not hitting the ground, but it is out there trying to move its way across the uh, border into Lakeview and uh, southern Josephine County. So here's what we're also looking at as well on the Storm Tracker 9 live radar sweep as winds starting to pull up from the south. And so as winds come up from the south, forest closer to the surface, that's what helps to heat our afternoons up as well. So while we were in the upper 80s today, we'll likely be looking at low 90s. 90s tomorrow. So the low is still offshore, but right now it is projected to move inland and eventually slide up the state of Oregon here, similar to what we saw the last two do. They're kind of taking that same track. In addition, high pressure to the north of us, producing some pretty strong winds moving down across the valley today. Both of those pressures working against each other, and so we kind of get caught in the middle. And that's generally what creates some of the breezy conditions. Now we'll see the winds generally back off as we go in towards the next couple of hours tonight. Still up to around 15 to 20 mile an hour sustained winds. You see all out of the north and northwest here along the coast. And then a little lighter, lighter winds, I should say. As you get a little further away from the valley down towards uh, Willamette Pass, less than 10 miles an hour. 92 in the Dallas today, one of the spots that does not need any windy conditions as the uh, government fire complex continues to uh, burn very, very out of control and likely going to continue to be battling not only hot temperatures tomorrow, but some pretty gusty conditions in the afternoon. 88 from Pendleton down to John Day, Ontario at 98 degrees, mid 90s in Medford and upper to mid 80s in the valley. Right now, it's still warm outside. The temperature is sitting in the mid to low 80s, low 70s out in the mountains, mid to low 60s out towards the coast. And here's the setup over the next couple of days. High pressure will continue to anchor itself just to the north of us, creating a warm afternoon tomorrow. You can see the jet stream goes up and over top of us. But we're starting to see this low get a little closer. And as it starts to move north over the next 72 hours, that will fire up some mountain thunderstorms. In addition, we'll also be pulling in more marine air as we head in towards mainly Friday, Saturday, and Sunday's forecast. So that will eventually break this little mini heat wave. But I'll stop it by tomorrow afternoon. Most of the thunderstorm activity will be in the southern Cascades as we transition in towards Thursday. It gets a little closer. I think that'll put parts of Douglas County in play. And then the leftovers of that, whatever the residuals are, will try to drift their way down to the valley and possibly even out towards the coast as we get in towards late Thursday and Friday. So mostly sunny and warmer tomorrow. Coast will likely start to see the clouds thicken up, especially into the weekend as we get a stronger marine push each and every day. The Umpqua is going to be a hot one tomorrow with the temperatures in the mid 90s. We'll slowly cool off, but not before I think we'll get a good chance for a couple of strong thunderstorms Thursday and possibly again on Friday. Cascades, sunny with a chance for some strong thunderstorms the next couple of days. Temperatures will be in the upper 70s and low 80s, mid to low or mid to upper 80s, that is, in Bend and Redmond. Thunderstorm chances, strong ones, Thursday, Friday, possibly in through the weekend. And then finally for the valley, we'll see mostly sunny and toasty tomorrow with temperatures right around 90 to 92 degrees. And then looking at a uh, chance for just some leftovers from whatever the thunderstorms bring Thursday and Friday, but uh, should cool us down by the weekend too. Nice to get a little bit morning cloud yes. cover back, uh, but tomorrow's going to be a hot one. It's part of the back to school adjustment. <laughs> it is, isn't it? <laughs> Slowly. Slowly, yes. Slowly, Okay, kids. Got to get used yeah. to 70s. Exactly. <laughs>